Hey everyone, this is Robert with Exploring the Local Life and these are my dirty dishes. Why are they dirty and why am I showing them to you? Because our sink is stopped up. We're gonna go ahead and clean out the stopped up pipes because we don't have an incinerator and neither do you. Come on. Okay everyone, welcome to Down Below. We keep some of our spices and oils and other things like that underneath the sink. Um, it's gonna get nasty. All I can recommend for you is you wear gloves and have a bucket or some other bowl to catch the nastiness that's going to come out of here and even this is going to be inadequate as you're going to see i might just need a plate because there's not a lot of space under here uh, and yes i will probably be using a dirty plate so here we go let's get rid of all the stuff get it out of the way oil salt garlic salt some uh dried parsley flakes you know the usual inadequate stuff for awesome grill uh blue ridge olive oil company in ella J, georgia All right, so this is very simple. This is the drain from the sink, of course, and this, this is the U. This U shape helps, it usually has water and stuff in it, which keeps all the nasty smells from coming up into the sink and into your RV. That's why everything has a U shape. It is a vapor lock, I believe is what the term is, but it keeps all the smoke, oh, vapors and other junk from coming up through this water that's always in here and into your home or RV or bathroom or workspace at work. All right. You notice I have no tools, I'm just using my hands and I'm loosening this up. Just turn this little collar and bam. And then we have this other collar down here. This is where it's going to start to get nasty and wet. And yeah, my bowl is not going to work at all. Alright, so now we have a plate under here and it's going to catch a little bit of this fluid, this safety fluid. I'm sorry, most extreme elimination challenge reference there, I apologize. Jessica. So again, you just turn this. There we go. Look at all that leakage. Mm -mm -mm. Nadia, please, can you get me a bunch of paper towels? Okay. There we go. Ah, smell the nasty. Three pieces. Three pieces of paper towel. Awesome. Can you get? Can I get uh, three more? Thank you, Nadia. You're the best. No problem. Good All right. So. Oh yeah. So now you got to maneuver. There we go. This stuff off. Lift and pull. There it is. So. This is coated with all the nasty bacon grease and everything else that we've been doing. I'm just going to pour this out, excuse me, behind the scenes. So look at this. Here we go. Full honesty time. Let's get some light in there. Ew. Yeah, again, that's, that just has a nice slick of guck in there. This is the magic time. We're going to loosen this collar over here. And this is just blocked up. we have here is a pipe inside of a pipe. That is in our drain. Gallons and gallons of water have been going through that. Uh, we have this gasket, got to make sure that goes back in there. That's pretty clear in there, I can stick my finger. It's like most of the stoppage is in here. Now farther back this goes, I don't think I'm going to have to go all the way back there. Pipes back in there are glued together, so if there is a problem further down the line, I'm not going to go do much about it. Talk about arteries, right? Here it is, folks. Months and months of congealed oil and garbage. That was what was blocking our pipes. Yep, again, you got to be strong enough for the podcast, got to be strong enough for the film. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this away, uh, appetizing yes, and uh, we'll put everything back together. 
All right, so I'm going to uh, pretend there's nothing wrong going on down here. So there's probably, I'm sure, some sludge in there, but uh, you know what? I don't have time to take apart this entire cabinet and go into there. But I believe this will be sufficient for what we need today. Um, we'll go ahead and put our plumbing back together and test it out. It's not leaking. All right, that worked, no leaks, but I have a bigger problem because my sink is still filling up with water. Dun, 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 dun. Hey everyone. So yeah, we have a lot of sludge down the main pipe too. So I have to figure out what I wanna do about that. Do I wanna just push it on through to the big down pipe? <coughs> hey Daniel, God bless you. Or do I just want to um, get some liquid drain over stuff? It smells horrible. It does smell horrible, Daniel. And I'm all up in it, so y'all are complaining about something you aren't even smelling. We're gonna push this problem down the road like Congress does with our national budget. Let me see what happens here. It's the good stuff. Do not do this at home. <laughs> Down pipe has its own little gasket as well. Oh, I turn off the light, turn it back on. Oh, this uh, LED light or whatever it is, we got at Lowe's. If anyone's wondering, has a gasket up here, surprise. Make sure I don't lose that. <clears throat> but I think you can find the same LED light on Amazon. With plastic, it doesn't hurt to twist reverse. There we go, twist it in reverse until it sort of finds a seat and then you wanna twist it on. That gasket in there, so I want to make sure this is nice and firm, but don't uh, don't go all Hercules on it. All righty, let's get this back in here. Up. Seated and in. Again, loose still until we get everything nice and lined up. Pull this down so this can seat straight. I'm pulling the U down so it can seat straight from the top. All right, nice and firm. Now we're gonna run some water and see how badly I did. Whoop! And yeah, we still have the problems farther down line, so we will have to buy a big old bottle of Drano. It's not filling up as quickly as it was before, so I will be able to get my dishes done but down the way, in the big honking nasty pile of garbage back there, we're going to have to either get a pipe snake or Drano, and I haven't seen a pipe snake unless I go to a, like an Ace Hardware. So, takeaway notes, your sink pipes right now, as you are watching this video, if you full-time RV, they are getting backed up with crud unless you have an insincorator or you have um, a very meticulous way of catching everything that goes down your drain, which we don't. We don't want to, we're, we're, don't, we're not that complicated. We'll just end up cleaning or dealing with the problem later like we're doing now. Okay, this is another eight ounces of liquid plumber, which means 16 ounces at least. Oops, spilled some out. It's really hard to gauge because my eyeball, I can only see this with one eye. Wait to see if that helps any. Okay, so we put um, liquid plumber straight down this pipe and now I'm just putting some hot water to follow up. I've waited 12 or so minutes or 15, whatever it said on the box. Ow, that's hot water. Ow, 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 ow. At this point, I'm not too confident that uh, this is going to solve it, but take a look. So if this doesn't work again, it's going to be a late night run to Walmart for a pipe snake. Let's see. 
yep, again, nasty, nasty stuff when you can't get your, your drain to run clear, but hey, we may have succeeded. All right? Hey, Nadia, say hi to the camera. Hi. Daniel, say hi. Hi. Yep, everything's a huge mess, but it looks like the pipe, the pipe is cleared. Not leaking anywhere. All right, not leaking anywhere. Took a while, but it's done. Thank you for coming along.